Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Mystic Moonbeam Tarot and today I'm doing a collective Gypsy Fortune reading. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with each and every one of you. So just take what fits and leave the rest and I'm going to jump straight into it. Now, first off we have the forest. Now with this card being in this position, it's upside down. It's telling the collective you need to be aware of the nets thrown your way. This could be someone trying to trap you in something. People want you to do something and it's for their benefit and not yours. It could be as serious as breaking the law and if that's the case you will get caught. Or it could be getting you involved in some kind of project from which you're not going to benefit from and it will demand a lot of your time and energy. You also need to be careful of signing any documents at this time as well. Because I feel as if these documents are going to be worded in such a way where it will benefit the other party and not you. And I'm also picking up that once you have signed, you will find it hard to make changes in the future with this paperwork or documents. So be careful of what you're signing. You also need to be careful in family relationships as well. For someone, your partner may be trying to trap you and make you take the blame for something they did. If it's at work, you're being asked to do your job well and don't give others a chance to sabotage or criticise your work by leaving anything undone or unfinished. You also need to protect your home base as well. So that's just a, a brief warning. Now, further down from it, we have the pig. Now, the pig in this position, it's telling you, it's telling you to enjoy your earthly pleasures. This can be your house. Um, parties, family gatherings, relationships or just material possessions. Um, if anyone's purchased a new car, then you're being asked to enjoy the pleasure it gives you. Enjoy, enjoy what you have for this moment, in the moment. Down below it, we have the scythe. Now with the scythe in this position, I'm picking up that someone's about to escape a catastrophe and you may not even be aware that there was one. You need to just be happy that trouble is avoiding you. But I do need to say, when this picture shows up, make sure you listen to traffic reports, check weather conditions and do everything you can to avoid being in a place or a position where some kind of misfortune could happen. Now, next down below from it, we have the ship. Now, with the ship in, in this position, the ship is all about travel. Now, with the scythe before it, it's telling me you can avoid um, that you may need to avoid travelling. Because I see you avoiding a disaster by not travelling. This could be that you get stuck somewhere because of travel delays or weather, bad weather. If you do have to travel, though, you need to check things first to avoid any upset or any delays. Especially with the ship and the scythe being together, I feel as if. Someone's going to be avoiding a catastrophe regarding travel. Like I said, for an example, you could be planning on travelling somewhere and all of a sudden, if it's public transport, public transport gets cancelled. You could end up, end up somewhere and be stuck there because you can't get back. Um, or it could be that you go somewhere and then all of a sudden the weather takes a turn for the worse and you're stuck. So I'll be sure to check anything to do, the weather and travel because I am picking up strongly it's regarding travel. Um, it was just a quick message today. That's all the cards are telling me. We've got the numbers 20, 45, 10 and 3. The months of February, March, October and August could be of significance. That could be your birth month. Um, the numbers could be favourite numbers, dates, um, well, ages. Picking up on Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I hope those messages help, and thank you all for watching.